guys, so today is DIY Wednesdays and that means we're going to be doing something with our paws. So I'm going to be holding Play-Doh for the rest of this intro because he's walking around and he's making a lot of noises and it's taking me forever to record the intro so I'm just gonna hold him for now. Oh my god, he looks ultra chubby in this video. Look at him. He's really not this chubby but it looks like he just gained like freaking 10 pounds. Okay, so we're going to be making two really cool wrapped bracelets today. And sometimes I don't even wear my arm parties anymore because it becomes too much of a hassle to wear the watch and then three or four other bracelets and you're like fumbling like an idiot trying to get them all on. I saw a wrap to watch on idilly.com a couple of weeks ago and I think it was like 69 bucks or something. I thought how about if you change up each section of the wrapped part then it will look like you're wearing multiple bracelets. The one that's closer to Play-Doh's face is the easier of the two because you're just attaching chains and pearls. The one that's on your right is a similar concept. The only difference is that we're using a different fastener at the end. We're gonna use a toggle instead of a magnet. Okay so we're going to take them from an old watch. Um, a thrift store, steal them from your close friends and family members. I'm sure you have a watch somewhere in your dresser drawer that you don't wear anymore because of the band that's on it. And last but not least, you can surely buy a face watch off of Amazon, which I have linked down below. So for this first one, I'm going to be using a magnetic closure to make my life a lot easier. Really, any closure would work just fine, but this one I found at Michael's Craft Store and it's pretty handy dandy. Take a jump ring and open it up and I'm going to connect this thick chain to the watch with the jump ring. I bought the chain from a local beading and jewelry making store and these are pretty specialty chains so you might have to yelp your city and see if anyone carries them in your city or try to order them online. I haven't found a good site online yet so if anyone knows just holla down below. So on the other side of the watch, I went ahead and attached a shorter chain to it. And as you can see, I have four jump rings attached because it held the chain up better and it just looked a little bit fancier. And using only one side of the magnetic closure, I'm going to attach it to the shorter chain. And I wrap it around my wrist just to see what it looks like. The shorter chain should meet in the middle at the back of my wrist. Then with the longer chain, after wrapping it however many times you want, make sure that it ends somewhere in the middle of the back of your wrist. On the longer chain, I went ahead and looped on some thread and I'm going to feed some of these pearl beads through that I bought from Michael Craft Store. And I wrap it around my wrist one more time just to make sure that the pearls end somewhere in the middle of the back of my wrist. I throw the jump ring onto the thread and I tie it super tight and for extra security, I like to dab a bit of super glue to the knot right before I cut it off. Now I attach the other side of the magnet closure to that jump ring. Now all I have to do is just wrap my wrist up and the two magnets would just stick together so I don't have to fumble with the clasp and boom, my arm party is ready to go. Okay, so for this next one, I'm going to use a toggle and this is also from Michael's Craft Store. So I'm going to attach the circle part directly to the face of the watch via a jump ring. Now working on the other side of the watch, I'm looping in some suede strips. You can surely use anything that you have laying around such as string, yarn, decorative ribbons, or even lace. And I went ahead and just simply braid it. Nothing too difficult, but if you are a pro about it, you can surely try out different decorative knots. Okay, so this little black thing is a string slash ribbon clamp. It's so hard to see here, but you can just clamp down onto your strings and it will secure it. Um, they come in many different sizes, so just go to your local craft store and check them out. Now, I attach a jump ring to the clamp and I also attached a long thin chain to it. So at the end of the chain, I attach another jump ring to it and I finish it off with the straight part of the toggle. So to wear it, I went ahead and wrap it around my wrist and to fasten it, I just pulled the stick thingy through the round part of the toggle and voila, secured and super easy. I think the toggle kind of adds a decorative element to it. And so here it is, we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed the DIY. It's super fun and easy. You can get this done in about 20 minutes. Like I said, you can hear Play-Doh walking right now. It's kind of annoying, bro! Like always, if you want to be featured at the end of my videos, be sure to shoot me a photo to my Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag SLOABN and you'll be in the next DIY video. If you think this DIY is cool and fun and you want to see more, be sure to like the video and subscribe to me. Remember guys, all my videos will be uploaded every Wednesdays and Fridays because I'm trying to keep... Thank you so much for watching and always remember to rock on DIYers. Bye!
So I just remembered the weirdest thing a couple of days ago and I remember when I was younger I used to live in California and we would go to like the markets and stuff and I saw this guy with a big box full of like beans and they kind of look like little jelly beans well they're the size of a jelly bean and you see them like kind of moving and like hopping a little bit so they're called Mexican jumping beans and I thought they were so cool and I thought they were magical you know I begged my mom to buy me some beans and they were like 25 cents each which is okay right basically what happens is that when they're in the sun they jump a lot more than they do if they were cold like I was sure there was something in there that's making it jump there's no way magic beans would jump like that I was pretty smart for a kid I didn't believe in magic I believed in Michael Jackson I kept telling myself that there must be a little birdie stuck in there and it's trying to get out and I was like I gotta save this birdie so what I did was I strategically cracked open the bean it was a freaking worm there was a worm inside of these Mexican jumping beans and it just oh my gosh you guys have such a huge fear of worms when it comes to worms like game over I will give you everything if you stick me with a worm instead of a gun. <laughs> if you guys know about the Mexican jumpy beans or have you encountered them and you know all that and you know more about them and what those worms really are, please let me know down below because now that I think about it, I never really like went into looking up what those worms were and 